Um, the guy, I guess the guy, like, he spun out and, like, he was just, he was just racing and, like, I guess he just spun out and, like, the guy, like, four cars got involved and he spun out in the other road and, like, it was really crazy, so. What do you make of this? Is this does this make you want to drive or not? I mean, like, it's, I could drive, but, like, I would just be more, like, careful and stuff. Like, I wouldn't race like that, and, like, that guy, he was, like, maybe on drugs or something, but, yeah. So, you're still fine with driving, even, you know, you just, it, I guess it's a lesson learned? Mm-hmm. Safe. Yeah, I, le I learned my lesson today about driving like that, even though I didn't, but still, I still did. First name is Kurt, K-U-R-T, last name Smith, S-M-I-T-H. Um, and your title? Sergeant. 
Uh, walk me through like, what you know. Basically, uh, we had uh, a vehicle southbound on our lead Ave uh, lose control at this corner. Uh, you can see from the tire marks, looks like he spun around, uh, collided with two vehicles that were going northbound on Arlita, and uh, a couple of parked cars here. I believe there are five cars involved. And uh, we're looking into whether or not uh, intoxication plays a part. Um, injuries at this point are minor. Uh, so that's essentially all we have here. Uh, can you verify that uh, one person had to be extricated using the um, I can't. I really don't know. Uh, wouldn't surprise me from the damage of the cars, but nobody was injured bad enough. Sometimes extrication is just bent metal and they're sitting in the car okay. So. Do you think speed may be a factor? <laughs> uh, there's no doubt speed's a factor on this one. Um, we have a uh, witness over here that uh, saw cars going real quickly. Um, and we'll be able to, we should be able to calculate the approximate speed from the tire marks. So. Are you looking at uh, if, you know, what, if there was another vehicle involved, if you're looking for someone else? Or? On something like this, nobody's dead yeah, or, or even seriously injured. So we can only invest so much resources in the investigation. We'll do what we can with uh, what we have here. Uh, whenever somebody is seriously injured or dies, it takes it to a whole new level. So that's what and, we got. Uh, was this so, that white car did it? Can you verify that was a white car that was the one that um, lost control? I believe so. This white one behind us here with the real banged up back end. Yeah. The red, uh, did you, were you here from the red SUV? No. It was gone by the time I got here. So we don't know if it was a, we can't verify whether it was a head-on crash before he spun out. Um, by definition, they call it a head-on because the car is coming from the other direction, but it was the side of the car that made contact with him. Okay. And how many people taken to the hospital? Uh, to the best of my knowledge, two. One of them with complaint of pain. It's just he's sore and just taken to be looked at. And the other one was the driver of the uh, primary vehicle. And again, we're looking to see if there's intoxication involved. Anything else you want to add? No. Ice or anything? Other than uh, people need to slow down. This is purely speed. You well, know, actually, the last thing I, I spoke to several people. It's funny because they don't. Um, they don't. They all don't want to speak on camera. But yeah. They all have been expressing the issue on this. You know, have have you seen? Have you investigated other crashes along here? Been along here, I've been working the valley so long that almost every street I go on, I know crashes. This is a big, wide street, um, and that's what we have here in the valley. Lots of the streets go a long way straight, and so speed is an issue in the valley all over. Um, here would be no different than anywhere else. Okay.